So now let's go over some minor adjustments of little things that you can get to get optimal seating with your students or your children. Down here, I'm gonna start from the bottom and go up. Right here is your footrest. There's a little knob right back here under the seat. And I'm gonna see if I can bring you closer to see that. It is right about there. This little white knob right here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna press that and pull forward. Let's see if I can get it. I'm gonna press that white knob and you're gonna pull forward and down. Sometimes if you pull forward too far, the little silver mechanism comes out. You just have to guide it back in, into the bottom. You haven't broken it. And then you just bring it to that sweet spot where your student ha or your ch child has the easiest time with sitting. Uh, another adjustment here is on the sides. There's two little white levers that have to be pressed at the same time. That depresses a little button on the inside and there's a telescoping pole that comes down so you can adjust here for length and then also back here for angle. This is a pad. Sometimes, every once in a while, we find that the pads come off. They can be put back on just by sliding this pad fabric right back on. There's a little pocket. You kind of have to really pull it. It's not the easiest thing in the world to get back on once it's taken off, but there it is and it protects the child from this metal piece right here. Some other little nuances right here. Have a knob to adjust up and down on your armrest and they do work independent of each other, but what you should know is that you won't be able to get your tray on if your armrests are not at the same height and the same angle. And here, we have an angle adjuster right here, this little lever you push up. Some kids need a lot of angle on their armrest so that when we put the tray on, we have a nice angle so that the child can rest their elbows. Sometimes as you'll see, our lateral might run into, this is called the lateral, it might run into this armrest or it might actually run into the tray as it goes on and sometimes we have to play with these being at the right spot in order to accommodate the tray. Our laterals should be hitting the child right about, right at the mid rib, upper rib, and you should leave at least two fingers worth of space between the armpit, that's the axilla, and the top of the lateral. If there's not that much space, then the child is resting on the top of the lateral, which actually kind of decreases circulation and sensory input, and you don't want that. Some kids actually need some extra padding to be put here, and that could be done with noodles or other types of Velcro, really any way you can get creative. Back here is the adjustment for the lateral. So this is just a little knob and you can bring the lateral up or down. This little guy is kind of stuck, but it can come up or down. Just take special note that sometimes it runs right into this little doohickey, the frame controller. And sometimes you have to loosen it up just a little extra to get it past that. You can also move the lateral out and in, even just with this one angle adjuster and then we can tighten it back up, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Lastly, on the headrest, we have, this one is a multi-panel or a tri-panel headrest. This comes up and down by pressing this little knob right here. It can go down and come up and it can actually come completely off. Can be replaced with a flat headrest which looks like this. So for your student that has fine head control, this actually is just more than enough of a headrest. For your student that maybe needs a little bit more side to side head control than the tri, the triplanar is one of the best options. 
So when you look at the back again, if you wanna adjust the wings of those headrests, I'll take this off so you can get closer. Each wing has its own knob to adjust. Again, lefty loosey, righty tighty. So as you loosen, you can change the angle. And what's nice is they're independent of one another. So if you have a student that turns really, really hard into one side, we don't necessarily want to block that because then that means that they will get a lot of skin breakdown pushing into one side, but maybe we want to block them from falling to one side. So we can open up one side and close another. We can close both or we can open them both up so the child has a nice big wide headrest because as you can see, it is definitely much wider in comparison to the planar headrest. And that's about it on the Rifton Activity Chair.